So welcome back guys again. Today it's, as you can see all about drones, 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 drones. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my drone. That's the DJI Mavic 2 Pro and that's Paul's drone, the DJI Mavic Air 2. So yeah, I got this Paul was not really person. happy with the quality of his drone. So what did you get today then for yourself? <laughs> The Mavic Air 2S. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's not that I wasn't happy. I, I got this um, off Yulin for my birthday last year. But I always found it was never really worth flying it when we were together because you had this, which is like really the king of the yeah. workhorse drones. By the way, before you talk about drones, let's just mention <laughs> that you might see it's a bit bashed up <laughs> since Yulian likes to fly it into walls instead of actually stopping beforehand. You know, it looks different on the footage. You don't <laughs> see it very often, so. So yeah, it was hard to beat this. So yeah. the only thing I could think of was it was the sensor because we do fly in quite Low, Low light cloudy, night time, and yeah, this just didn't cut it at all. Uh, it's completely different, completely different quality. I think that's 8-bit. Mine is videoing in 10-bit D-Log M H265, which is a very flat profile and you can fairly grunk the colors around. So yeah. that's why Paul got the DJI Air 2S. And as we are in Iceland at the moment, he obviously wants a better drone, especially for the volcano and at night time we will fly it as well. So it's a good choice for him to got the DJI Air 2S. It also got the one inch sensor like the Mavic 2 Pro. It got 10 bit color output on video. It's D-Log M, it's a very flat profile. So he can't even open it, so. <laughs> I don't have one of them fancy knives like everybody else. Um, hang on. Buy a butterfly knife. No, because it, it looks work. it looks uncool on the videos with his shitty tweezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that there's several things that are the key features that make this worth it. And as Julian says, the first thing is the sensor. If we're going to fly this to, to video the volcano, we're going to mostly do it at like the golden hour or even when it's a bit darker yeah. because it doesn't make sense to fly it through harsh light. So that's one reason. The obstacle avoidance system is different now, isn't it? Because it can avoid from flying I think it over. also got on the upside sensors, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and obviously its range as well is said to be improved um, because of how it how it works with the remote control as well. Um, and yeah, it's got the zoom feature on as well. It can do 5.4K 4K 4K. video in 30 frames and 4K in 60 frames. I think that's the that's the the fortile from this drone to this that's only doing 4K 25 frames as we are in Austria we use the palm mode so it's 25 frames not 24 frames per second yeah, this no. can even do 50 frames per second now he tells me that it uses the same batteries as my air which is good because yeah, my true. batteries are charged already oh it's quite nicely packed actually this one comes with yeah, everything in it quite chicky mickey yeah it's quite posh uh, oh, the black. So at least I know the difference um, in color between my bags. Right. There is the standard uh, quick start guide that nobody reads. Um, and what is, oh, this is the accessories box. Again, I'm going to try not to damage it while Julian opens up the pack. Do you open up that first, please? And start seeing what's in the, the, the box there. So in the accessories area, I have all the spare propellers i've never once changed a propeller i think julian has a few times since he likes to crash his drone so it's got all the propellers in either the spare ones or the new ones that looks like a filter set julian agreed that's a big upgrade because on the previous drones from dji you never got it with nd filters you always have to buy them separately and that's uh, that's the biggest upgrade, I think. And it's a pain and I in think the especially if you're a beginner photographer, videographer, you don't really know that you need ND filters and it, that it's such a big difference. Yeah, and the annoying it's, thing is, it's not just buying the filters, it's often when you get the drone from some shops, they don't have them. 
and then you've got to order them online it takes another three four days and you want to use your drone but actually you wonder why the quality is not there because you're yeah. shooting in the wrong frame rate so you also get the spare toggles as well like you do in the dji and um, air 2 um, and obviously the cables that looks like the controller for the controller because it's the same controller so it comes with md filters 4 8 16 and 32 right and then it's the standard controller which we're used to um from my mm -hmm. previous drone yeah, it's the same like the air 2 controller standard controller um, and then I can see some more accessories, which I'm guessing will be now the charger pack um, the cable batteries. So you get one battery, two batteries. Is there a battery in there? There's also one, yeah. Charger. And cable charger. Yeah, that's for the three batteries. So you're getting three batteries and of course, the drone itself as always with DJI with its many stickers like in every single nook and cranny you'll find a sticker so it's always important to start to peel them off one by one and obviously I'm gonna have to install the propellers as well and now when we look at the uh, the comparison of them side by side it's actually the same size very similar yeah, yeah. And obviously you just see the difference at the top, more aggressive look as well with these sensors at the top of it as well. Um, the sensor is obviously bigger as you can see, it's a one inch sensor. Maybe take the gimbal off, stupid stick on. Oh. <sighs> Smashed it. it. It's broke it already. As you can see that there's obviously a sensor difference. Huge, huge. And I think that's <laughs> gonna make the big difference because I, I really was look I, I love this drone because it was it's just fast to get out and throw up in the air but as soon as the light wasn't very good I, you when you put the footage next to your footage it was it just it, very difficult to match the two drones so what we'll do is we'll it's also it doesn't have the 10 bit color range so yeah you never can match it with the Mavic 2 Pro together so so that was the reason why we're buying it now luckily because we obviously have the three drones it'll give us a chance to fly them and to maybe then do a bit like we did on our recent Sony video for the Alpha 1 the A7R4 and the A7S 3 will be to do a comparison with three drones as well and you can decide whether it's worth the premium to purchase the Air 2 or the Air 2S, you know, which is mm. going to be the more expensive one. It'd be interesting to see how it compares against your Maverick. I think it's more interesting to compare it with the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, as it also has a one inch sensor, so should be quite interesting. But look at the size difference between these two, and it's heavy massive, as well. massive, yeah. It must be the double weight. So if, if, if the quality of this one and the functions and features and everything match this or are better, then the question is, is this dead in the water? And is there going to be a Maverick 3 coming out very soon? Hopefully. <laughs> I think so. I Especially, think so. I don't quite understand why this one is actually 500 euros more. So... I'm really interested in the comparison of these two drones. Yeah, and a bit like the comparison on the, the cameras, you, you can go into the technical data side and somebody can break down 10 bit this, one inch sensors and all the different bits and pieces. But let's face it, most of us as general photographers and videographers, yeah. we just want to see what it looks like. Does it look different on YouTube, Instagram? because that's what's important to us. Otherwise, I couldn't care what the technical specifications are of it. <laughs> you know, I want it just to look the best, yeah? So let's see if it looks the best. That's the plan. Let's do it.